Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another 3D printer project. Today, we're going to build the Sobel SV06. So let's get cracking. Alrighty, so let's start with what's in the box. We've got a user manual. We've got a leveling guide and some tips. The display. Bracket for filament. And a printer that looks pretty much assembled. Friends, let's dive in that manual and see how to put it together. Alright friends, so step one. Gantry on the base with M5 50 by 4. Inside the brown box we can find all of our parts and labeled by step we have got the screws all right friends so these are the m50s make sure you add the washers before you start putting them in place i really like the way this has an actual area where it slides in to fit uh, super easy to line up once again don't forget you want your washers on there it's real easy to get it lined up because it's got that recessed area and then just tighten them down of course get all four in before you do your final tightening easy peasy step two is to attach to the display there are cool little holes and there are pins right here and you can drop it into place just like that next up we're going to attach the power supply and it goes right here with these two m420 screws going through and connecting to it super easy to align and tighten in. Alright everybody, next up we are going to install the hot end assembly with these tiny screws right here. And it fits in there really nice and easy. Once again, these fit in here super snug, so lining it up is really easy and then you just have to tighten it down. And go hot and attached at this point we need to spin it around and turn the aircraft switched to the unlocked position at this point we can grab the control box slide it over push it down in slide it down and then relock the aircraft switch how cool is that Time to add the filament holder with the M510 screws. Really like that these have an exact spot where they get attached. It's not like you're moving T nuts or anything. You are physically putting them right in, right where they need to be. And making sure you've got this coming out the front. Find the little adapter and bingo, lock it into place. How cool is that? Alrighty, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven connections. Let's get going. As you can see, they are labeled. This is Z1, easy peasy. This one labeled X comes all the way up under here. Y is already connected, but we can connect the power supply, which is right here. I popped this off so I can see it a little easier, but there's where we're going to connect that display. Then I'll rehang it. And then also here is Z2 that plugs in right there. Bingo. And attach the extruder. Notice there is a little cable holder. And you can see I spun it around so you can see how it slides in there and locks firmly in place. What a cool system. Alrighty friends, so let's see what we built. Uh, first I'm going to peel off the little protective display. Let's power it on. There you can see the Sovo logo. We've got the SV06 Let's quickly make sure she's moving the way she's supposed to. 
I'm gonna hit auto home and she is home and just like you'd expect it to Wow is that smooth and quiet that was pretty awesome alright so going through the manual first thing we should do is bed leveling and an auto Z align so I'm gonna just scroll down and let's give it a go I'm gonna ramp this up to 10x speed it is super smooth and slow as it does it the very first time and back down it goes once again busting out that 10x speed all right now we're gonna go down here and go to bed leveling and then we want auto home but we also want to preheat so we're gonna let it do the preheat and auto home automatically it'll take it up to 120 C in the hotbed at 60 you can see right down here they are both heating up at the same time once again 10x speed because we don't need to wait and watch now that it's reached we need to do auto home to process it once again I'll speed this up just so it's quicker when you watch it now we need to go back to main back to bed leveling and we want to do probe Z offset so I've done a little testing and with my printer I'm setting the probe Z offset to negative one that's what I found works with mine of course your mileage will vary but that's where I'm starting out and of course make sure you remember to store the settings when you're done and then we're gonna choose level bed of course I have bumped up the speed this time to 15x when you're really waiting for this to happen it takes about two minutes and with it completed they wanted us to make sure it says settings stored it says it but I'm gonna still go down and do it one more time bed leveling and I want to go to the bottom and just make sure we hit store settings let's go back to the main menu let's choose prepare and let's preheat for PLA and let's add some filament alrighty so now let's go down to change filament and I'm gonna tell it yes and bingo oh it's doing filament unload filament inserted press button bingo that's pretty darn slick we'll change the angle and purge a little more you can see right now I am getting black which was what they did the test with now I'm switching it to blue with a yellow streak in it so it'll be a little bit tricky to tell but I see some of that coming out right now alright this time I'm gonna hit continue and I'm gonna go set up a 3d print alright so I am in Kira 5.3 and let's add a new printer it is gonna be a non Ultimaker it is not networked let's scroll down and see if we can find Saval bingo and we've got the SV06 I'm gonna just keep the default name let's hit add I'm gonna keep the default settings tell it next 0.4 millimeter nozzle alright so before we get going I have just typed in retraction and let's double check these numbers they are on the little page they sent us because they use a bimetal throat they recommend that we have check check for both of those 0.5 all of these were 40 uh, extra prime 0 1.5 retraction of 10 for the max 0.5 off and then this check mark I do not see the layer start for X and layer start for Y so I am just gonna skip those
I'm going to use the standard quality. I'm going to use all the other standards that are built in. And then the first print I always use is this tiny cube. So I'm going to type 1C for one cube. There it is. And let's hit open. And all it is is a centimeter cube. I love this because you can see it's only going to take six minutes to print. And it gets us started having success before we start trying more difficult projects. I'm going to eject and let's put this in the printer. Alrighty, so with the SD card put in, print from media. And we want to find that cute little cube. And choose print. Now I'm going to let you behind the curtain just a little bit. That's what it looks like when it's finished. It took me more than one attempt to get it recorded. As you can see, it's working like a dream. The other thing I also have found out is that the way this printer is set up, uh, you cannot see a darn thing while it's printing. So when we move over here, it'll do the skirt. And if your project's wide enough, which this little cube is not, you can get a decent look at your skirt. But we don't even really get a good look at that. So once again, this is where I found that the negative one worked best with the printer. You can get a glimpse of it back there when it goes around the corner. As you can tell, the printer is crazy silent. And in about six minutes, we'll have an adorable little cube just like the one you see there. And there we are, a finished cube. How cool is that? Alrighty friends, so there you have it. Simple steps to build the Sobol SV06 and get your first print done using Kira. Friends, it is a bit early for me to give it a review, but I do wanna say, totally love the setup process and these first few prints have turned out absolutely amazing of course make sure you stay tuned because there will be more videos to come and if you enjoyed the video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about hl mod tech don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you'll be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.